Right, good evening everybody. Welcome back to Dave's Little Beasties. We're going to um, do some some rehousing this evening and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to move over some Cupianius Saley. I probably said that wrong but who cares, it doesn't matter, you got the idea. The Tiger Wandering Spider. We've got some young slings that need to come out of sling pots into some bigger accommodation. So that's going to probably be a bit of fun. And we've also got some um, Cambridge ice slings that I want to transfer from the main box into some little tiny houses that we've set up, sling, sling housing that we've done for my own benefit. These are ones that I want to keep myself. So, right, so we're going to start with the Cambridge eye and uh, we're going to do them in a box. And you'll see why. We've got all our stuff here, it's all ready. Remember, be prepared, get everything ready. We don't want to be rushing around looking for stuff. Now, we've got this lovely little lot in here. This is like a bunch of Exocet missiles, all waiting to be ignited. So what we're going to do now is, somehow or other, we're going to get the lid off, and we're going to catch four individuals out of here, he says, in a very confident way. As you can see, they're all up on the thing. So. What we're going to do is we've got our housing. Remember when we done the um, a mini housing? It's a very simple 32 inch, 32 ounce deli cup. We've got them set up ready. And do you remember? We like to keep things really, really simple. No need to over exaggerate these things. So what we're going to do is set them up there ready. We've got our little sling pot, which is what we're going to use as our catch cup. Now then, what we've got to do now is get the lid off without them all busting out. Mm, look like they're a bit asleep at the minute. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now then, we are about to lose some inside the box. So we're going to just place that there like so and hope they stay still there we go there's one first volunteer that's it he's in there you go you see he's in the sling pot so now what we're going to do is we're just going to transfer him over and we're just going to flick him in there he goes he's in you can see that Remember, nice simple housing, just needs a little bit of substrate, a little bit of cork bark for him to hide under. Now I can hear you all screaming out at the moment, but Dave, he's an arboreal. Well, yes, he is an arboreal, but at this stage in his life, he'll, um, he's more of a terrestrial spider, really. So there's no need to have a tall enclosure for him. Look, while we're chatting away, these little devils are um, they're going on walkabout. So then, what we're gonna do, we're gonna choose another one. Try this little fella down here. Here we go. That's it. Climb the pot. Here we go. He's in. Straight away. Remember how we've done this before? Nice and simple. Over to his new pot. Flick him in. Another one rehoused. See how simple this is, guys? All right, then. I'll try one off the side wall this time. Here we go. Straight in. Back in the pot. You notice all the others, we've been very lucky, they're still in there. That's number three. We only want four. Who's going to want to volunteer? Should we try and do this one here? See if this one will run in. Ah, look, see, we're trying to get too fancy. He's on the outside. Here he goes. There we go, straight in there. Here's number four. Now what we're doing now, we've, we've caught these up. These are going to be for my own use. And uh, these are purely just for a little bit of breeding stock later on. And hopefully we can get the lid back on. And dare I say it, we managed that lot without a single escape. Now who would have ever thought that? Look at that, empty box. Well, this is boding well for the Saley Tiger Wandering Spiders, isn't it? 
Right, that's marvellous. Now you can see we've done them. Another little tip for you all. Put a label. Label your slings and your spiders on your enclosures. You'll notice on mine, everything is labelled. Now, this is because these and the Arminia look very, very similar. So I don't want to get them mixed up later on. And it also helps if you put the, the, uh, the Latin name on here, it will help you to, um, to remember them. And you'll learn, you'll learn your Latin names without even trying. So there we go. There's four Cambridgei already. Look at that, he's running around already. So that's them done. Right then, now on to the Sailies. These are a different kettle of fish. Now we're going to try something a little bit different now. These are the pots they're going to be going into. These are fruit fly tubs. When you buy your fruit flies, this is quite often what they come in. I love these tubs. They're really, really good. And they make excellent sling pots for the more arboreal type of spider. Now these are our Sailies. Now you remember the adult one that we moved a little while ago, a few weeks back now. These are youngsters. Now this is a standard sling pot. I often hear you ask, how big can a spider be kept in a sling pot? And uh, this one here, these could actually stay in here a little longer. But I've decided to move them on, just give them a little bit extra. And the idea is, is you keep them in a small pot like this, they're very, very easy to maintain. So it's easy for them to find their food, grow, everything else. We don't want to put them in anything that's too large. Right, here we go. Now these, as you'll remember, are exceptionally fast. We've got our trusty paintbrush here. We've got a catch cup and we've got a slightly bigger catch cup for these guys because of their speed, they're so fast, we actually, uh, we don't want to be running around trying to get them into this tiny little thing. If possible, we can, but we've got this one if needs be. So, now what we're gonna try and do now, there we go, he's staying in the pot, which is always a good thing. And what we're gonna try and do, is get him to come down and run down the stick there we go. Oh, look at that, he attacked the brush. He's in. Well, see that, look, he's still attached. He's got silk. See his bum? We're pulling his bum by moving our tub. He's still attached. Isn't that incredible? One down. Now then. So that's one in. We'll put him there. Here we go, this is number two. We're gonna try exactly the same process. Here comes another one. Now I must say with these, um, these new enclosures, basically what we've got is some, um, some mulch in the bottom. This one's staying on the lid. So this could be a little bit different. We're gonna put the lid down. We want it to touch the branch because we want him to go down there. See how he turned to face the stick? They are feisty little things. Very gentle. We don't want to upset him. Gently does it. Come on, little fella. Remember, take your time. He knows that's a foreign object down there. He knows he, he's not seen that before. Now he's off. He's on the back of the stick. And there's number two. Now if you look inside there, you can see we've just got a normal, our normal woodland mulch, which we use as a substrate for most things. And then we've just got one simple stick. These guys like to sit on a stick. Here we go, there's another one. This is going very well, I must say. Here we go. They do like to stay on the lid. Paintbrush ready. There we go. Such beautiful spiders. Now look at that, he's facing the wrong way. So what we're going to do is we're going to push him down. If I try and turn him, he might well just disappear. Yeah, look at that, you see? See how his body language changed? 
These guys, they work very much on eyesight. He can see everything. Now then, let's see if we can't tempt him down. The last thing we want, these are very bolty, so the last thing we want is them taking off. So here we go, very gently. A little bit of persuasion, and he's in. There you go. And if you look inside there, you see you've got a simple, one simple stick, got a little bit of moss around it, that helps keep the humidity up. These guys like it really warm, and they like it quite sort of damp in there. They like a real good, good humidity. They, I found they do best on this. If you let these guys dry out, they don't do very well at all. So, there we go, he's in there. The other thing that's um, worth mentioning with these is they don't appear to require the cross ventilation that you get with uh, things like your Avix. They don't seem quite so reliant on a really good airflow. You'll notice in these sling pots, there's no real airflow. Now uh, look at it, this one's tr proven to be a little bit different. He's decided he wants to go and hide inside the moss. You see in the sling pot, all we've used as a substrate is a piece of moss. There's no actual substrate in there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, there we go, look at that, he's in. He almost went to the edge. Very good. Another one done. So right, so them ones were done. Now this one, exactly the same setup. Don't forget, we've got our label so that we know what we got in the pot. Because once your collection starts growing and you end up with a few spiders, it's good to know at a glance what you've actually got. So we uh, put this on here. There's our label, one tiger wandering spider. I make these labels using this. This is my brother, love, 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 brother label maker. And uh, I do everything with this, really cool bit of kit. Definitely worth investing in, well worth it. Now then, water-wise, look at this. This one in here, this is, this is how it started off, it's nice and dry. And um, we obviously want a little bit of moisture in here. So what we're gonna do now, we sit there and we're gonna give it a bit of a soak. You can sit there and think, blimey, Dave, you're putting a lot of water in there, aren't you? Well, this is because that substrate is quite dry in there and that will absorb this really well. It's quite, so it looks quite wet, don't it? You're probably thinking, my God, he's drowning the damn thing. But it's not. That will actually soon get swallowed up and um, it will end up give, giving him the ideal environment. Now, this one's a bit, this one looks a bit keen at the... Hmm. See him there. Now, as we've said before, if you're interested in breeding things, and slings is the way to start your your group, you need really sort of half a dozen of them to to do the job. This is quite a jumpy one. This one. Here we go. He's in. You notice how they always go to the back of the wood. Which is a good thing, so you know you know where he's going to go. Oh, I can't believe how, I can't believe how well this is going. Very very good. Right, another one here. Do our label again. Label in. Don't forget you've got your fruit fly tubs here. Cheap enclosures. There we go, water again. Don't forget it's very, very dry, so we're going to whack quite a bit of water in here. These guys do like a humid environment. And despite what it looks like, he won't need water wings. That will soon disperse. There we go, another little one. You can see the size of these in comparison to the size of the sling pot. He could actually quite happily stay in here 
for a, another malt at least. And then we don't really want him going back in there, so oh, he's going to come out on his own. Look at that. You notice how he's left that silk? See how it lifts his bum up? There we go. And he's in. There we go. That's another one done. So there you have it. We've done uh, two different slings there. Simple job just showing how we rehouse them, how we give them their new enclosures. This style enclosure for an arboreal spider, which is a truly arboreal spider, that's the sort of thing he needs. Then we've got the Cambridgeii that we showed earlier on in these tubs. These are an arboreal spider, but as a youngster they prefer to burrow, so they don't need the height. So we give them a 32 ounce cup. This is absolutely ideal. We can get these up to good solid juveniles before we will move them up to something bigger. And then we'll just go to the, the taller deli cup. So there you go, there you have it. A couple of nice easy rehouses. I think we've really got the knack of these tiger wandering spiders. <laughs> that couldn't have gone better if we'd asked. So everything went very smoothly. We were prepared. This is the thing. We were, we're prepared for any eventuality. We've got everything here. It's all done. Even in this clutter, there's lots of stuff going on, but we're, we're ready for anything that happens. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, don't forget, please subscribe. Uh, Give us a thumbs up. Any comments, do put them on. Um, I'm always open to uh, any suggestions or maybe there's something you'd like to see that we've got and we can perhaps sort of do a little showcase of that. Um, there's lots of exciting things going on, so uh, stay tuned and uh, be calm, be gentle, love your spider. Until next time, thank you very much.